Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain Kelvin's double bridge. In the previous video, I have explained Kelvin's bridge where we have considered the imp uh, impact of lead or contact resistance. Okay, that means we have taken the galvanometer position at three different positions and we have taken the lead resistances into consideration and thereby we have calculated the bridge balanced condition. Then we have stated, concluded that the impact of resistances was not there. The impact of contact resistance or lead resistance is not there in the measurement of Kelvin's bridge. Because when we are going, why we need to consider the Kelvin, uh, what is that, uh, lead resistance or contact resistance values also in the consideration because Kelvin's bridge is able to measure that much of small resistance values so like 10 micro ampere, 10 micro ohms. Kelvin's bridge can measure even 1 ohm to down to down to even it can measure 10 micro ohm resistance value very very small resistance values can also be measured using this Kelvin's double bridge or Kelvin's bridge that's why we are going we are going for the measurement of contact or lead resistance also that into consideration okay now we are going to see Kelvin's double bridge. It is nothing but a bridge. One other bridge is formed within the bridge. That's why it is the name Kelvin's bridge, double bridge. So the second set of arms A and B connect the galvanometer to a point C. See here. Previously we have only the resistors R1, R2, R3, Rx. And the galvanometer position is connected here at the center and one here at the center and the lead resistance from here to here and again from here to here we have taken in the previous case. But now we have connected one more bridge by taking the resistor values A and B. So inside this particular area it forms another bridge and this is the original bridge. So totally it is a double bridge. Okay. So here the resistance Ry as in the previous case here also we have taken the resistance Ry which is the lead resistance between the M and N points between the points M and N. Okay. Now here we have assumed a condition R1 by R2 we have to select the resistor values A and B in such a way that R1 by R2 is equal to a by B. This condition we should remember. If we do not follow this condition, then the bridge balanced condition will not be equal to the conventional formula. Okay. So, in order to achieve the conventional formula, we have to take the condition that R1 by R2 is equal to A by B. Okay. So, in the uh, now what is the bridge balanced condition? ELK is equal to ELMC. What do you mean by bridge balanced condition? The voltage from here to here is equal to voltage from this point to this point because this is acting like a ground. Okay, see this is positive terminal and this is negative terminal, nothing but ground. Okay, that means when the bridge is in balanced condition, what happens? There is no current flowing through the galvanometer. So, simply galvanometer current Ig is equal to 0 when bridge is balanced bridge is balanced what is the condition ig is equal to 0 that means there is no potential difference on either sides of this galvanometer that means ek is equal to ec ek is equal to ec that means the potential at this k node is equal to the potential at this c node that is written like this E K to L or E L K that E L K is equal to E C M L or E C L E L M C both are same. Okay. From here to ground and again from here to K to ground. So that is the meaning of E L K is equal to E L M C. Now E L K from here to here, here to here, how we can write the Voltage formula, we are, this is the voltage across the resistor R2. Okay, and this galvanometer is open circuited. So, what is the total resistance in the path R1 and R2? What is the total voltage applied E? So, that's why 
R2 by it is a simple voltage division network across this resistor R2. So R2 by R1 plus R2 into the total applied voltage is E. And how we can write E in terms of the other arm? E is nothing but the total voltage from here O to ground. Okay. What is the total resistance in this path? Rx plus R3 plus this A and B and Ry. Okay, how these are connected when this galvanometer is not there, A, B are in series. Okay, A, B are in series and this series connection is in parallel with R, Y. Okay, so how we can write this, R3 plus R, X plus A, B are in series. So, so, A plus B that comes in parallel with R, Y. So, A plus B into R, Y by A plus B plus R, Y. Okay, hope you understand. So, R into i this is the total resistance of that uh, second path between o and l so i is the total current flowing through this network and e is the applied voltage okay now with this three points keeping in mind now we are going for further calculations i will do one by one step by step clearly go through it Okay, simply just we are taking the equation, we have everything we have started at the balanced condition. Okay, so finally we are substituting all the equations in this balanced condition and getting the unknown values. Okay, so first ELK is equal to this one. Substitute, already we know ELK. Okay, ELK is equal to R2 by R1 plus R2 into E. Substitute this E in this equation. So, ELK is equal to ELK is equal to R2 by R1 plus R2 into what is E R3 plus Rx I into I keep I here R3 plus Rx plus A plus B into Ry divided by A plus B plus Ry. Okay, this is the equation ELK. Now we need to get ELMC. How can we write ELMC? ELMC is nothing but from here through this resistance R3 through this resistance B. When we are writing the equation ELMC, only B resistance is there. There is no A and there is no Ry. Okay. So, how we can write that? So, ELMC is equal to I into what is the total resistance in that path? I into what is the total resistance from C to ground? R3 plus we need B among the resistance A plus B in parallel with Ry. So, B by A plus B into what is the total resistance A plus B into Ry by A plus B plus Ry. Okay, see here. We need B resistance here only B resistance. But where is B? B is there in a set of network where B is in series with A and this series combination is in parallel with R Y. So we have to write this as B by A plus B into the total resistance like this. Okay. So A plus B here and A plus B here gets cancelled and we have now equate. What is the equation here? So, let it be equation 1. From equation 1, these two are equal. From equation 1, so how we can write ELK is equal to ELMC. So, equate above two equations. R2 I by R1 plus R2 into R3 plus Rx plus A plus B into Ry. In bridges, everything is analysis part. 
everything is analytical part you have to do some mathematical equations without doing mathematical equations you cannot get the solution in any bridge all the bridges are having numerical parts okay so b into a plus b a plus b gets cancelled b into r y by a plus b plus r y okay so now i i cancel on both sides and I take this uh, R2 by R1 plus R2 on the other hand and R3 plus Rx plus separate these two A into Ry by A plus B plus Ry that is equal to I I cancel so we have R1 plus R2 by R2 into R3 plus B into Ry by A plus B plus Ry. Okay. Now separate this R1 by R2 plus 1. We can write this as by separating in the numerator part R1 by R2 plus R2 into the same equation R3 plus B Ry by a plus b plus r y now multiply here individually so what we will get here r1 r3 by r2 plus r3 plus r1 by r2 into b r y by a plus b plus r y plus same b r y by a plus b plus r y see here uh, sorry we have forgot i forgot to write this uh, a b term okay you can write it as a plus b otherwise okay i will write in the next line so now separate here also r3 plus r x plus a into r y by a plus b plus r y plus b into r y by a plus b plus r y see a plus b plus r y under b y this one this one gets cancelled and here r3 here r3 these two gets cancelled okay now take this a r y by a plus b plus r y under the right hand side so r x is equal to R1 R3 by R2 plus R1 by R2 into B R Y by A plus B plus R Y minus A R Y by A plus B plus R Y. So if you take common R1 uh, what is that uh, r y by a plus b plus r y take so from this r1 r3 by r2 plus b into r y by a plus b plus r y if you take this term common we are left with here r1 by r2 in the first term r1 by r2 minus r1 by r2 minus here a b is not there so we have taken b as common so a by b okay now go to the first statement we have assumed a, a condition that r1 by r2 is equal to a by b so according to that formula what about this one this becomes zero so the this component is multiplied by this one this factor is multiplied by this one so this also goes to zero now we are having only rx is equal to R1, R3 by R2. This is the formula of unknown resistance Rx. Okay. So, here we have to understand in the Kevlin's bridge that even if we consider any bridge after the galvanometer to the points M and C like this, 
okay m and n like this any separate bridge also considered if this condition is followed like r1 by r2 is equal to a by b then there is no impact of this a and b resistors on the entire network so that the unknown resistance rx is not violating the original formula what we have seen in the previous cases okay so kelvin's double bridge is normal kelvin's bridge when we have this formula r1 by r2 is equal to a by b okay so we need to remember that it is a just a modification of normal uh, uh, kelvin's bridge and it is very useful in the measurement of very low resistance values such that 10 micro ohms also we can measure okay that is the very very important point we need to observe here okay so thank you